There are many types of bokeh background blur out there in the world, but today we're going to look at wagon wheel bokeh. Let's go. Hello everyone, Carmine from New York here, professional photographer since 1973, working as a paid photojournalist here in Manhattan, New York City, USA. It's my pleasure to give you my 50 years experience for free here on YouTube, the new photography classroom. This is class 342. Please subscribe, it keeps this channel up and running. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, email me at blackandwhitephoto at aol.com. I'll answer all your questions. Send me your photos to look at. I love looking at your photographs. And if you need inspiration on what to photograph or what equipment you need to take a certain photo, go to my website. It's free. You can't buy anything. You can't buy a mug. You can't buy a t-shirt. You can't even buy a pin. CarmineTaverna.com. It has over 7,000 of my photographs that you can look at, enjoy, and each one tells you the equipment that was used, the camera, the lens, the location, and you'll get inspired, hopefully, to go out, take photos, but every time you take a photo, you're practicing your photography to get better and better. Okay, wagon wheel bokeh looks like this. It's crazy, but what's more crazy is what lens gives you wagon wheel bokeh. Well, it's very difficult for me to even say the words. This is a lens from a projector. This is a projector lens. It's the Leica, or back in the day when it was made, the lights, it's called Dimaron. D-I-M-A-R-O-N, lights, made in Germany. They used lights on the lens, L-E-I-T-Z, before they branded everything Leica. This is a 15 centimeter projection lens, AKA 150 millimeter. It's a fixed F 2.8 aperture lens. Now, projector lenses were designed to take light from the rear of the lens and project it forward. Camera lenses were designed to take light entering the front of the lens and projecting it to the sensor or film. However, both can be used interchangeably, either direction. And a good example of that is back in the day when you wanted to take macro photographs, you would just take your 50 millimeter lens, reverse it with a reversal ring, and you could put your lens on your camera backwards and you can use it as a macro lens. All right. Now, this lens is from a projector that looks like this. This lens is extremely heavy. I weighed it, it's a little over two pounds of solid metal and glass. This is one giant element in here with a few others. Now, here's the beauty of using a projector lens like this one, you can focus it. It has a giant helicoid in the front. You can focus this to do landscape photographs and also to take sort of closer up photographs. can't get 
get closer than a few feet, but it focuses. Some lenses, like an enlarger lens, does not have a focusing ring because the enlarger actually moved up and down. That's how you focus. So to, to use an enlarger lens, you would need a special adapter that actually turns and moves the lens further or closer to your sensor or film. Now, this lens runs about a hundred bucks on eBay used, of course, because it's many decades old. This one had an M42 mount on it. I just have an adapter here that goes from M42 to Leica L on my Leica SL mirrorless digital camera. These lenses work perfectly on your digital mirrorless cameras. Uh, all right. What's it like shooting? Today, you're going to look at all these photographs that I took outside in a brilliant, bright, sunny day. And I had to use ISO 50 because you cannot adjust the aperture. You're forced to shoot wide open, F2.8, giving you the beautiful wagon wheel bokeh. heard of cat's eye bokeh you've heard of bubble bokeh there are so many types of bokeh but this is the secret wagon wheel bokeh. okay about aperture this is a fixed aperture f 2.8 if you get serious enough that you want to change the aperture on a lens like this there is an adapter it's under a hundred dollars and it actually has an aperture blades built in that you can turn and you can adjust the aperture as an add-on adapter and it looks like this so i took all the photographs you're watching all the same way aperture priority manual focus of course fix f 2.8 iso 50 all handheld no tripod i did set the camera in your camera as well, if you have a sort of newer camera, it'll have focus peaking, where what's in focus will have a green or red outline to show you that is in focus. Very helpful when you're using a lens like so, this. Let's look at the photographs of the projector lens known as the Leica Dimeron F2.8 15 centimeter 150 millimeter lens that gives you wagon wheel bokeh. Let's go.